Welcome to the third of a seven-part series on anticoagulants. In this video, we discuss unfractionated heparin. Let's begin with the following take-home points. Unfractionated heparin increases the effects of antithrombin against factors 2 and 10. Unfractionated heparin also inactivates factors 9, 11, and 12. Unfractionated heparin can be reversed with protamine. Let's take a look at a simplified version of the coagulation cascade, starting with the intrinsic pathway. Factor 12A activates factor 11A, which activates 9A. Together with its cofactor 8A, 9A activates factor 10 to 10A. 10A then acts in the presence of its cofactor 5A to convert prothrombin to thrombin and thrombin converts fibrinogen to fibrin. When natural anticoagulant processes are activated, antithrombin inactivates both thrombin and factor 10A. Antithrombin also inactivates factors 9, 11, and 12. When unfractionated heparin is added to the system, it increases the antithrombotic effect of antithrombin, effectively blocking thrombin and factors 9, 10, 11, and 12, thus stopping thrombin generation and fibrin production. Unfractionated heparin is produced endogenously by basophils and mast cells. Commercially available heparins come from porcine and bovin sources. Elimination is from the liver and reticuloendothelial system. Its half-life is about 45 to 60 minutes. After cessation, the APTT should normalize within three to four hours. Unfractionated heparin undergoes reversal by protamine. It has variable bioavailability due to competitive binding by plasma proteins, including platelet factor four and other acute phase reactants. Unfractionated heparin is indicated in the treatment of arterial thrombosis and venous thrombosis. For therapeutic effect, heparin is administered intravenously, thus it is not suitable for outpatient venous thromboembolism management. Finally, unfractionated heparin therapy carries a risk of heparin-induced thrombocytopenia. In summary, unfractionated heparin increases the effects of antithrombin against factors 2 and 10. It also inactivates factors 9, 11, and 12. Finally, unfractionated heparin can be reversed with protamine. This concludes our video on anticoagulants with a focus on unfractionated heparin.